Hey, 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 everyone, this is Dead Hand. Tonight, we are going to kill the, the damn uh, golem. That's our goal. That's what's going to happen. We're going to do it. So let's... Oh, I forgot I have this little uh, switch over to the side. I don't know why I never just redug that. Okie dokie. So we're in the temple. Now, I did a little bit of work earlier today. Whoops. So that this would be easier to get to. And I would end up wasting a lot less time. Also, I want to ensure that I kill the golem because I'm super pissed that I lost to him uh, like two times uh, last episode. Now, the first time I played, uh, the first time I ever fought the golem, uh, I moved his, his little uh, throne thing to a different location. Which one of my uh, commenters let me know it was a glitch because the throne got uh, spawned on top of spikes, which makes it, uh, well, movable. <laughs> Usually it's not supposed to happen at all. Um, so that didn't happen this time. It didn't happen uh, my last playthrough. This is my third one now. Come on. So uh, we're having to deal with him at home. Boink. Add a little door. Uh, I filled in a little bit of extra space so that less uh, shit would spawn, which is a big problem. Boom. Boom. Uh, these spawn three hearts at a time. Uh, I have a top row and a bottom row so that I can run past the golem when he's on the ground. And then when he goes, well, he's not going to go up top. Actually, if he gets stuck up here, that would be awesome. Then I just go under him, like so, and go around. Uh, I have my giant healing potions. Uh, I've got over 2,000 bullets. I have a cooked fish buff. Well, the buff is called well-fed, but uh, I think we're ready to go. I have six tries and unlimited time. <laughs> so uh, I think we're ready to go. Let's... Let's give this ish a try. We have our little helper, who is pretty much useless. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do what we can. Okay, it's not left click. I need to remember that. <laughs> and go. There we go. Damn it, bat. Okay. So, first part's gonna be easy. He gets stuck up there for the first 30 seconds or so. And he gets out. Then he gets out. There we go. As long as I keep hitting his hand, uh, he does not uh, have the ability to... Well, he can do that shit. He does not have the ability to fire his hand at me. Come on, dickbag. Alright. Let's... Oh, I hit him. Oh, right. My buff. Okay, I've only used about a hundred bullets, so that is good for me. And uh, in case you haven't uh, played Terraria, or maybe you suck at it, much like myself, uh, when you have a boss that you just can't get by, if you just set up these little things so that uh, hearts flow out, it makes things a lot easier. Like, stupid easier. Because I haven't even used a healing potion yet. And I've stayed, meh, close to full health. Well, that was a bad idea. So he is going to pop his head off here in a second. Whoa, that was a bad idea. Pop his head off here in a second. I attack the body. I always forget and attack the head. Actually, his head is stuck up in the rafters. So all I gotta do is move laterally. Which is left and or right. And I should be good to go. Oh, that hand is fucking pissed. I don't know why I left that little alcove there, but I did. I now wish I would have put my second... <clears throat> Yay! I wish I would have put my second set of hearts up here now. That would have made that even easier. Good. Well, we kicked that guy right in the nuts, so I'm happy I boot that. <clears throat> we have five more. I have just under 2,000 boletos. Uh, I'm going to take a guess and say that's Spanish for bullets, but I'm probably wrong. So, uh, let's find him again. 
We have full health. We still have bullets, all that good stuff, and go. This time we're gonna try to destroy both of his hands before uh, we destroy the head. Cause last time his uh, hands got pissed. Of course my aiming is not like super awesome. And if you've followed me for any length of time playing Terraria, you know that my aim is absolute shite. Absolute shite. Not like, oh, he sometimes hits stuff. Like, if he hits stuff, he's doing really good. That's me. For me, it's a problem with the cursor. It's a little tiny red arrow instead of, like, you know, a target or a big red arrow or something like that. Damn it. And I don't really pay attention a lot of time. Because I'm talking? When I play games by myself, I don't talk. I mean, unless I'm making a comment to myself like, you idiot. But <laughs> besides that, I don't, you know, talk a whole heck of a lot. Oh shit. He almost ate my face off right there. Okay, so things are going decent. That's short for decent. Kill the hand, kill the hand. Ah! Uh, also, the, uh, what, what am I doing? Okay, also the setting up the heart containers like this. Heart containers. Heart, uh, shrine things. No, oh, go up top, dick. There we go. Um, takes time. And since this is my third playthrough, I've been trying my best to, uh, not waste any time at all and just, like, run through everything. Which, you know, worked for... Uh, not hard mode. Yay. Because, uh... Ooh, a godly golem fist. Which worked for not hard mode because my minions killed everything. But, uh, now that it is hard mode... Uh, I suck. There we go. Let's kill him one more time. Uh, I'm running low on bullets. Well, not running low. I still have a thousand. But, I have less bullets, less bullets than I would like to have. And there's something I've been meaning to do uh, this entire playthrough, and I just keep for forgetting to do it. On our very first, eh, maybe second episode, uh, we found a tree and uh, a giant, like, giant mega tree. And I was like, oh, we'll definitely come back for that. And we never did. And we're 19 episodes in. And I'm thinking, maybe we should just spend 10 minutes and just kind of see what's in there. Maybe that's where my super fast boots were this whole time. Because as you know, about episode meh, 11, I went uh, straight for, uh, uh, as you would say in the uh, action RPG realm, uh, twinking my character, giving my character all the stuff from my other characters, ah, so that I didn't have to waste time like farming and what have you. Um... So, I gave this character fast boots and I think something else um, from another from another character so I didn't have to waste time. But I didn't really explore all of my map. Because especially in pre-hard mode, uh, it was like super mega easy. And I pretty much just walked around and stuff died. So... Now that we're in hard mode, uh, I want to actually, oh shit, I want to go around and see what the dealio is. Please go up into the, there we go. Yay! Yeah, so I'm hemorrhaging bullets here. Due to poor aim. And I guess bad RNG, because I have like a 75% uh, don't use ammo. Uh, uh, I don't know, buff or whatever the hell it is. <clears throat> or something like that. It's 50 and 25. I don't know if they activate separately or together. Oh, annoying stinger? What is that? Shoots an explosive bolt. I've never seen that before. Oh, wait, what did it... Oh, it takes stingers. 
Do I buy stingers from somewhere? Because it seems like this would run out quickly. But they are explosive, so... Never mind. Okay, well, I guess that turned out pretty good, eh? Boink. Boink. So let's, uh... Oh, I never got a pickaxe axe, so I can't pick this up. That's one of the drops from the, uh... Golem. Well, shit cakes. Oh, well. Get the F up out of here. It's nighttime, which is super sweet. We will go down to Chinatown. I mean, the tree. Not the tree of life. Or the giving tree. But just a, uh, just a regular tree. I mean, it's giant. It is a giant mega tree. I like how there's hollow above crimson. That looks really cool. Look at that. It's beautiful. Okay, maybe not beautiful. You know what I'm saying. My meteor that I believe struck next to my meteor. Yep. Oh, that hurts, right. My onk is not equipped. You can see it on my character because it's in my uh, social slot. But it's not actually equipped. Oh! I was going to see if I could hit it. Failure. Where's this big ass tree? And Q big ass tree. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, I wasn't going to like edit or anything. But shit. Let's go, buddy. Uh, I just whistled on camera for a second there. Did you hear that? That was an accident. I whistle all the time. My girlfriend hates it. Uh, any kind of noises. She doesn't like me whistling or beatboxing or any of the fun stuff. Oh, wow. I did not mean to do that cool-ass move. I picked up a fallen star. Like, I didn't see any loot. Okay, we gotta get close to this mf -er, right? Come on. I wasn't gonna pick it up, but it tried to chase me. I figured, I guess it wants to be part of me. Inside of me? I don't know. Ooh. Stuff I did not see before. Uh, it doesn't really matter since we have, like, one fight left, but... Boom. I just want to do it for funsies. If for ever any reason I come back into this world, uh, it would be nice to know that there's a crap ton of ore everywhere. Special ore. Not just ore. Get him. Get him, Billy. I've nicknamed my pirate Billy. My first mate. Billy. Holy jeez at the wraiths. Uh, there should be two of them for every uh, throne thing I destroyed. Altar! I call them a throne every single time. I don't think there's been a time on any of my three playthroughs where I actually called them uh, altars. I almost did it again. Jeez, man. Boink. Okay, we got a tree. Real quick, like, let's see the top of the tree. Nothing special. All right. Make sure it wasn't any loot or anything. All right, so as you can see on our map, uh, we looked at all this crap. Pretty much everything on the left side of the map. Well, not everything, but close enough. And the right side of the map is completely black. So I want to go down this tree just long enough to see if there's anything good. I'm not guessing that there is going to be, but, you know... It'd be nice to see what I've missed. Ooh, a door. A uh, living wood wand. Some other useless crap. A living womb. Not womb. <laughs> Whoops. A living loom. A living womb would be really weird to find. Uh, I'll take that. But the rest of this is crap. Pure crap. Um, 
Again, if I ever choose to... What the hell? I hit control. If I ever choose to uh, come back in this world... Uh, I don't know, to look for loot, I guess, or what have you. Uh, I would like to have at least some of this mapped out. Uh, why is there water already? This is supposed to lead to awesomeness. And I gotta tell you, I hate the sound of this effing thing. It was the last time I ever get a Drax. From now on, it's, uh, uh what's it called? Pickaxe axe every time. Okie dokie. Okay, so let's get back up here and go back down. I mean, there's gotta... I don't want to spend too much time, but there's gotta be something good down here, right? Like, I've, I've given up on, like, this whole side of the map, so... Give me something. So far, nothing. I just accidentally killed that thing with my Drax. What, what is that? No clue what I just did. That's okay. Um, I also started planning. I'm out of air. Hey, I got a cyborg. Cause I beat gold. Thought the cyborg was for. Killing the... I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I have no clue what I'm talking about. Oh, most annoying sound of all ever. Hey, Platinum. Doki, I'm gonna drown. Okay. Okay, there we got a we got an empty space below us. We got an empty space next to us too. And we're about to drown. Uh that is useless. And I'm surprised I haven't gotten tired of the music of Terraria. Because according to Steam Pretty much by the end of next episode, I will have uh, uh, 200 hours in uh, Terraria. So I'm, oh wow, there's a bigger hole than I thought. <laughs> um, what was I even saying? Probably something super important. So, uh... I didn't really miss anything by not coming through here. Okay. Guess that's good to know, right? I guess. Anything? Oh, a floating, uh, what is it? Floating gross, right? It's one of the few times I've seen one of them uh, in this playthrough. Come on. Come on. I'm stuck in the damn cobwebs. Get me out. Get me out. There we go. Effing cobwebs. I hate cobwebs. In real life and fake. What? Oh. Ass hat. I'm in crimson? Hold on. Um. I gotta check this map. Where the hell am I? So this crimson has pretty much eaten all of this out to here? Or, so where's the middle of the world? It is here, right? Because I dug down and found the center of the world. I'm not crazy. I know I'm not crazy. 
Oh yeah, because I put a block of six torches. <laughs> That's the exact center of my map, according to the GPS thing. So this side got the hollow, I thought. Oh, this side. Okay. So boom, boom, so yeah. I don't know why I just spent all that time looking at stuff I already knew. Oh well. Oh, right. I wanted to go through here. Nope, just water. Okie dokie. Okie f and dokie. Oh, oh, kill everything. Uh, luckily, I have a billion dollars. <laughs> Roughly have a billion dollars. So, uh, shooting all of these bullets doesn't really bother me that much. Damn. Um, I guess that'll be it. If I can get out of here, I'd love to show you guys how I set up for, uh, Captain Big Nuts. Uh, that's the, uh, fish. Uh, Duke Fisheron. Huh? What did I call him? Captain Big Nuts? Yeah, I think that's what I call most of the bosses in the game. It's not his special pet, uh, name I gave to him. Hey, there's the cyborg. Oh, because I had another home finally. What you got? And then Unit 4928 said, Who do you think I am? Unit 4726? Ha ha ha. That is a terrible joke. I would like to try the Proximity Mine Launcher one day. But, uh, I don't know what kind of character that would be. I'm gonna make some type of explosive character, though. I've got some idea. Because I figure that would be just, like, hard in general. Okay, so here is what I have done to fight Mr. Fishrom. Mr. Fishron. Okay, so there is my dungeon. A little bit of lag. Boom. Straight, straight across asphalt all the way to the Hoshin. Kablamo. Oh, got even more lag. Yay! I can fly! And my pirate friend poos everywhere. He does not eat that much, are you kidding me? So I've got this whole section flattened and asphalted. Um, Crimson Altar? Tombstone? Yep, I've been down there before. Um, so that I shouldn't. The hardest part about Duke is flying over him when he starts shooting stuff. Kill them, please. Oh, you're an awesome first mate. Um, so now that I've alleviated that problem, uh, I should have an easy fight with Duke next episode. So, with that being said, subscribe to see the ending of the series, which should be one more episode. We're going to end at an easy... Not an easy, an even 20. Which will make my OCD happy um, all we have to do is kill the uh, kill Moby Dick since we're a pirate I just uh, even though I named myself Redbeard I went ahead and assumed that we were a lot like uh, Captain Ahab I don't know I've got no clue what I'm talking about but uh so we are going to fight Moby Dick next episode and we are going to end the series and then uh, I'm oh yep saw that and then I am going to uh, get rid of Terraria from right now because I have played it three playthroughs in a row and I need a break from Terraria. But, uh, you know, shortly after 1.3 comes out, I will of course pick it up again because this game is awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We have one more. Gonna kill uh, Duke Fisheron. We're gonna call it quitsies for a while. And I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful night. Uh, don't get killed. Nope, still no speed boots. I don't think I had speed boots in this entire map. Um, and you guys have a good one.
Peace.